Managing part of Boulder County uh, operations, which really started in you know places like Sacred Heart uh, Catholic School and and you know little sites around there uh, that we had, and eventually because of the demand there, um, they felt the need to open a center, and that center was on Wilderness Place, right off Valmont and Foothills Parkway. But we quickly outgrew that because we were in a business park. And that shifted a lot in terms of Boulder County. Uh, the university began to send a lot of students to us. Uh, so that was, uh, and that was a concern when we left that site, whether our presence would still be there. But then we went to the Spine Road location. And that's a whole new experience about opening a camp. It was like opening a college for the first time. And then there was real concern about moving, and that moved to Longmont. So your presence in Boulder became diminished. The question would be, would people from Boulder travel to Longmont for those classes? Well, when I first attended Front Range, the campus, we were over on North and North Longmont, basically 21st and Main, where the old Kmart used to be. Um, so the college was next to Kmart and next to a dog wash. Um, there were these big windows as you'd walk into the uh, reception area or front desk area, front range, and you could actually see the dogs being washed. <laughs> uh, in Boulder County, my most favorite one was between a dog wash and a bingo parlor, and we could do registration and watch the dogs being washed. I mean, the campus was a couple of classrooms and uh, there just wasn't a whole lot of options. So we didn't have a coffee shop. We didn't have um, any food options. It was small. We didn't have even a lot of classroom options here in Longmont. Um, you could go to Gun Barrel or Westminster or Larimer for some of those more expanded opportunities. Um, but here in Longmont, it was really more of the basics. Uh, so my last and final uh, point in that years was watching us have a permanent location with all those sites coming together. To reach a point where we were going to be in the site there at uh, Miller Drive and um, have all our programs, have our faculty, have, have our space there, have a, a centerpiece for that community. And um, so it was, that was again another very exciting um, fun experience uh, with, with lots of creativity for uh, the opportunity at, at, for Front Range at that location. But it was a place for you to get a good education um, in small classrooms, which is one of the things that really brought me to Front Range. It was a place I felt like I belonged and I felt a sense of community. Um, I wasn't just sort of a little fish in a really big pond at Front Range. I, met a lot of uh, staff, faculty, leadership, um, and they all made me feel really welcome and appreciated um, at Front Range. I think because this campus is small in some ways, like it's not, you know, 20,000 students, you really do begin to recognize faces, you really get to know your professors. I mean, I've never been in college courses where the classroom is so small, there's uh, such a great teacher to student ratio. And it's been wonderful. I mean, even just coming back, getting to greet teachers in the hallway, um, professors that I've had and just loved, who know me by name still two years later, um, is, is really special. And I don't think you can find that at very many colleges. Um, and when you do, it's, it's something to hold on to. <laughs>